Hey everyone, it's Miss MK with Boys and Girls Club. So today I wanted to show you an interesting way to get involved with spatial reasoning by making your own puzzle today. So spatial reasoning is basically a way in which somebody understands, can relate, or remember different shapes and their relations to other objects and other spaces. And so one thing that you can do in helping like gain that memory skill in such a way, um, or that reasoning skill rather, is by making puzzles. And so I'm going to show you how you can do that today. So that's an example of my puzzle and I'm going to kind of walk you through how I did this process. So you're going to need a paper, a pencil, uh, some coloring materials, some scissors, a ruler, um, and potentially you might use some cardboard or glue and tape if you want to make your picture or rather your puzzle a little bit stronger. And so what you're gonna do is, let's go ahead and walk through some of these steps. You're going to, first off, create your picture and your design, make it look however you want to. It can be a random design like mine, or it can be a picture of like a flower, an animal, whatever you want to really, because this is really kind of up to you. And so then at that point, once your picture is completely finished, whether you draw it first or not, um, go ahead and color it in and make sure that that's all taken care of and that your picture is exactly the way that you want it before moving on. And so at that point, what you'll do, it, what you'll do once your picture is done and dry is that you will go ahead and if you're going to use cardboard at this point, you would put cardboard on the back of this paper and you would glue the paper to the cardboard so that, that way your puzzle pieces stay a little bit more stable and keep a little bit longer. But if you're not going to, you can use paper like mine um, only and it will work just fine. So what you'll do then is that you're going to cut your paper down to the size that you want it once it's already on the cardboard. So for example, my picture was part of this huge piece of paper and I only wanted a small puzzle so I cut about two thirds of that off, give or take, and I left it with just that size. So you wanna make sure that your outline is completely how you want it. And so for example, if you did a flower, you would, can go ahead and cut your picture in the shape of the flower if you want to make that part of your puzzle piece or part of your puzzle overall. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and draw the picture, or you're gonna turn your puzzle upside down so that the back is towards you. And you're going to go ahead and take your pencil and this is when you can bring in the ruler to measure out squares like mine if you want to, so that way it keeps your squares kind of even. Um, or you can turn them into any other kind of shapes that you want for your puzzle pieces, it's up to you. And once you do that and you are happy with like however many pieces you have, you can change up the different kind of connectors that you have. So in traditional puzzle pieces you see a lot of different like little bubbles like this usually, or gaps where those bubbles would be on other pieces that they connect to. Um, I like putting like squares in mine and triangles in mine as well as the original bubbles just so that way it makes it a little bit more like challenging for people to try and do because I like puzzles that are interesting. And so you can also keep that in mind when you're playing around with whatever your like design looks like so that it may be something a little bit more challenging for your friends if that's what you're going to do. But once these puzzle piece outlines are done, you'll go ahead and you'll take your scissors and you'll cut them apart following the lines of each of these pieces um, to make sure that your pieces come out accurately and that way when they're all cut up into pieces, they basically are put right back together again because you followed those lines. And there you have it. So I really hope that you enjoy this fun like spatial reasoning activity because puzzles can be really creative and really interesting and you can have um, so many different variations to them. And hopefully it's something that you can do with your family and friends and you know, test out each other's spatial reasoning by doing puzzles that each one of you make, you know, try each other's out. So hopefully you come up with some really creative puzzles. Bye.